So congratulations on making it to the finals. Thank you, thank you. So how was you chosen to be on Survivor? How did you go about getting on I the show? I went through the whole process. I mm -hmm. had my little uh, audition video, but mm -hmm. I put it on Twitter and my Facebook and asked everybody to retweet it with at Jeff Probst. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully they would say, hey, I didn't know she wanted to be on this show. Let's let her audition. And that's exactly what happened. So what was your cover story for being gone? What did you tell people? It wasn't hard because I had just been to Africa last mm -hmm. year for uh, two months on a missions trip. And so they just figured I was on another missions trip. Okay. What did you do to prepare? I did a lot to prepare. I did, uh, I had a Navy SEAL work with me in the ocean. I uh, hired the local softball ball coach at the high school in case we were going to do any lobbying uh, of things. I, uh, um, I mean, I did a lot. I can't even think of everything else I did, but I prepared a lot. So why were you limping the final day? Uh, you notice, see, I didn't even think they would, uh, you could tell. But in, in that reward challenge, I, I twisted my ankle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why so much crying? Um, because, well, for one thing, I didn't realize it. Probably getting divorced March 1st and getting on a plane March 9th and then going out and being absolutely stripped of all things that keep you together and then let people film you was probably not the smartest idea <laughs> that I ever had. So the game was, um, it felt like I was drawn and quartered and being pulled in a million directions on the inside, and I was already raw on the inside. So it was just, I think, a, a constellation that uh, produced quite a few tears. So Now, a, a wise woman told me last night that sometimes women do that as a form of manipulation. Was it any part of it ever a strategy for you? No, because I was, I'm smart enough to know that you need to be strong to play this game, not weak, and you don't need to be perceived as a crybaby. And so, no, that's why I went off by myself and cried. I didn't want them to see that side of me, and then it just started leaking out all the time, and at that point it was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so what was the most difficult question you were asked at the final tribal? You know, I have to be honest, they were miking us and, and, and doing our tape and our, our makeup and everything. And so I didn't get to see the, them asking me the questions um, when they, so I can't even remember. But I tell you what, um, I do remember Penner's speech, <laughs> even though I didn't get to see it. Uh -huh. I remember sitting there going, oh my goodness, he has come out with both guns all loaded and ready to knock us off. So once Penner revealed that you were a child star... Then did, did anybody else say anything? Because we know there's a lot of questions that don't get aired. So did anybody else comment on that? No, he was last. Okay. So do you think that had anything to do with you not getting more votes? I don't think so. Okay. I do think Denise won it fair and square. I would have voted mm -hmm. for her. <laughs> Awesome. So. So what's it been like watching with family and friends? I have kept it really small and just watched it with my family and friends. Um, you know, because it has been like a second wave of all the things that created the first round of emotion. And I just needed to have people back uh, around me that I knew loved me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are saying they would like to see justice on the show now. I know it. I agree. I don't think they'll let him. I don't think he, they let family people oh, once okay. they've been out there. Oh, they'll do anything if it's good TV. Okay, I totally agree <laughs> that he should. Absolutely. Although I have said that I would not let anybody I loved get on a plane to go out and do Survivor because mm -hmm. it's that hard. So is there anything that surprised you that you saw on TV? Um... Well, I would like to clear one thing up because it surprised me, okay. and that the in the edit is that Carter actually did win food. They just didn't show it, so I wasn't mm -hmm. totally heartless. Where it looked like he bought food for us, and then I'm sitting there chomping down my chicken and trying to outbid him. He did get food. I was just we were both bidding on dessert. <laughs> I heard you've got a, a great new opportunity coming up. I do. I'm so excited. I'm going to get to do some co-hosting with Jeff Probst on his awesome. show coming up. Yeah, so I've got a handful of shows. I'm going to get to sit beside him. And, you know, when I said I wanted to be on Survivor, it was A, because I love Survivor, and B, because I love Jeff Probst. Yes. So this yeah. is perfect. Total bonus. We can relate. Yes. <laughs> Lisa, thanks so much, and we totally enjoyed you on the show. Thank Good you. luck My to you, pleasure. Lisa. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. both of you. Bye-bye.